Hi, this is Patrick Johnson of CAD Enhancement. What I'd like to show you is uh, one way of utilizing our new tool, the FAR Designer, that we just released last week. Um, the FAR Designer is built on technology within our FAR process. Um, what I have here is I have opened up a family with uh, all sorts of types built into the family. And what I want to do here is show you one technique or utilization of our FAR designer. Um, it will allow you to take a family with a bunch of types, create a type catalog, which will then remove all the types within the family. So it's a good way to convert families that you may have um, created a while ago that you want to put into a type catalog, or as you download families from the websites to be able to take and create type catalogs to your standards. Um, the FAR Designer um, has to be, one is the FAR Reviewer, which will allow you to view the parameter, the value, formulas, and if one of them has the type catalog, we'll spell out type catalog here. Um, we put this together as a checking mechanism. Um, we utilize it quite a bit when we create content to allow us to check you can, um, the parameters. Um, this can be uh, printed out. It can be saved as a rich text file and opened up in Word um, and viewed in there. Um, the family editor is where we can um, you can actually go change a parameter name, parameter value. You can select uh, which parameters go into a type catalog, and this here will set the parameter heading with the pound pound symbol to what parameter type and units. Um, in the type catalog. Um, the type catalog viewer, right now nothing to view, but it allows you to view what is in the type catalog. Um, so what we have here, as you can see, all sorts of uh, different types in this family. And what we're going to do is we are going to create a type catalog, save it off with the type catalog, and then I will show you the type catalog in a project coming up and also open up that family showing that all the types were were removed. Um, one way I like to work here is take the parameter name and sort. Um, and I'm going to sort in a reverse order just because I know here with ordering size there's no formula, there's differences in the sizes so it's a good candidate for a type catalog. I'll click on that. Um, also, and let me expand this out just a hair. There we go. Um, I will click on um, parameter type in units. I know that that value is in feet, so we're going to click on length and feet. Um, again, here, like here, this has got a uh, formula. I'm not a good candidate for a type catalog as far as I'm concerned. Others might have different opinions, I guess, but um, let Revit handle the equation. Um, so what I want to do here is I want to just put a couple um, parameters in a type catalog. Um, I am looking for this one right here. So we have width and length. And again, we'll select on the type catalog parameter. We will go in there and select again. That's in feet, so we want to put it in feet. Um, okay, so what we have done is selected a couple parameters to create a type catalog. For demo purposes, I think that's you, you can go through all these if you want. Um, and you can view here we got with ordering size. This is what's going to be in your type catalog. Um, go back into here, go to file. And you got save and save type log. The save will save the family with no type catalog. It will save um, the family with all the types um, in it. Save type catalog. It will create the text file representing the type catalog and also remove all the types from that family. So let's click on here. What I want to do here is I want to go to um, C drive. I'm just going to copy down. And we're going to call this video for watching a video, I guess. Um, hit save. 
it goes off and saves that family. Um, lots of types in there to uh, to remove, so it is uh, it takes and saves the text file and then removes all those uh, print, um, types from the family. I'm going to exit out of here. Now what I want to do here is I'm just going to show you. We're going to load the family. You notice when I saved it, there was no video in the C drive. So we're going to go back to the C drive here. And let's see, you got video. Let's click on video and hit open. And there's your uh, type catalog coming up. Again, length, ordering size, width, ordering size. Um, if we were, and again, you can see the two feet, the feet being handled there. Um, if we were to look at the text file, you would see the pound pound um, set up in the headers. Let's uh, cancel this. Um, I don't want to really um, insert anything for demo purposes. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to open up the family that we just, the video family that we just put in there. Again, we're going to go to C drive. Um, open up video open and I just want to show that there are no types in the family anymore so let's go on types and that's all you have we just put by type in there it's the default all the default uh, parameters for type um, and I'd like to thank you for uh, taking the time to view this video uh, feel free if you have any questions to contact us um, our website www.cadenhancement.com and our um, email if you have any questions feel free is info info at cadenhancement.com c-a-d-e-n-h-a-n-c-e-m-e-n-t dot com thank you for taking the time to watch this and uh, have a good day bye